time for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles, coming at you with another episode of Jerry Rigged. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a commonly available remote control outlet that you can purchase online or at your local Target, Walmart. They pretty much carry these things everywhere, like a hardware stores, and a lighting fixture of your choice. I'm gonna be reusing one of my ceiling mounts that I custom made. If you guys are interested how I made this, this mounts to the ceiling, yeah, it actually does. Uh, I have a video for that and there's a link in the video description, but I'm gonna be combining these two things together to create an alert system so that my wife can get my attention when I'm playing video games full screen and have headphones on. Yeah, it's, it's actually been a problem. All right, guys, well, stay tuned. I think you're gonna find this to be a very interesting jerry-rigged. All right, let me give you guys a little background on the project here. So the problem that I was trying to solve was, whenever I'm up here in the nerd cave, which is upstairs in my house, I usually have headphones on when I'm playing video games full screen, and my wife has no way to get my attention. I have a phone up here that she can call on the intercom system, but when I have headphones on and the audio's blaring, and I like loud audio, guys. Like really loud audio. She would end up calling the phone and I wouldn't answer. So then she'd have to come all the way upstairs, which trust me is a little bit of a feat in this house, cause, cause, Hoarding. And then she'd open up the door, she'd tap me on my shoulder, and I would about flip out of the chair, killing myself and her. All right, so one day I'm sitting up here in the nerd cave doing an episode of Tech Talk with Jay's Two Cents, and Miss Barnacles is downstairs in the kitchen, and Xander is also downstairs. Well, she drops a huge glass bowl, and it completely shatters into a million pieces all over the floor, like it was safety glass. The entire floor was covered, the sink was covered, the counters were covered, and she screamed and screamed and screamed, and I couldn't hear her because I had headphones on while I was doing Tech Talk, and they were closed back headphones so I couldn't hear anything. She even tried calling the phone up here and I didn't hear the phone ring. And later on, I found out that people in the chat were actually asking, hey, is that your phone? What's that noise in the background? I was not registering it for some reason because I was, I was in the tech talk. There was a lot of stuff going on and it just, it wasn't registering with me. So after that, my wife was pretty, pretty pissed off that she couldn't get a hold of me because uh, she had to figure out how to get out of that mess on her own. So it was pretty obvious at that point that I needed some kind of a visual cue. Because remember, when you're playing a game full screen, all of the notifications are disabled. So even if she tries to message me on Facebook, tries to message me on Twitter, tries to message me on Instagram, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to see any of those messages. And I also turn off in-game messaging in Steam. So even if she had Steam installed, which she doesn't because she's not that kind of gal, she would not be able to get a hold of me. So I figured out a visual system would work best. Well, after giving it a little thought, I know that I use these things a lot. If you guys ever saw the video where I built the ceiling, uh, light fixtures uh, for shooting videos up here in the nerd cave. I actually use a remote control switch to activate those. And I even have a video on how to build them like I talked about in the beginning of the video. Well, I gave it some thought and I was like, what if I put a light behind one of these 50 inch monitors? And then I set up one of these to activate it so she can turn it on and off with the click of a button. And since it's wireless and it has a range of about 30 or some odd feet, which is perfect because the kitchen's just right downstairs underneath me, I bet that that would work. And she could just carry this little key fob around or she could put it on the counter and anytime she needed to get a hold of me while I was doing a live stream or I was playing a game or I was otherwise not answering the freaking phone. She gets really pissed about that. And I don't blame her because with Xander, if there's an emergency or something, she has to be able to get a hold of me. Uh, I told her that all she would have to do is push a button. Well, I went ahead and deployed the system and it's very, very easy. All you do is take one of these outlets. Each one of them is coded to a different button on the remote. Now there's several different brands of these remotes. This is the Super Switch. Um, there's a ton of them. It doesn't really matter which one you get as long as it has a good range on the antenna. Range is gonna be the most important factor. So just look on the box and make sure that it actually has a decent range. This one has an 18.3 meter range up to 60 foot. So that's, that, that's more than I need actually. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the lamp into one of these switches and then I'm gonna position the lamp behind one of my monitors. Now what happens is when she's downstairs and she has an emergency, she can just rapidly push the button. Seriously, it's like it's like an elderly person with their little life alert. It's like, oh, I've fallen, I can't get up, come get me, come get me. It's same same principle, except for I will have a light flashing behind the monitor. So from my perspective, I'm gonna see the light on the desk, I'm gonna see the light on the ceiling, and it's gonna probably give me a little bit of a heart attack when it goes off, but it'll immediately alert me that I need to take the damn headphones off and I need to get my ass down there and help her. Now, there's also a couple of other things we figured out during this project. One was, we can use kind of a Morris code type solution. If she just flickers the light three times, 
times, that just means she needs my attention. If she just pushes the button rapidly and doesn't stop, that means emergency, emergency, emergency. So if it's just three flashes, I know that I can take a little bit of time, you know, maybe, maybe say goodbye to the people I'm playing a game with or whatever, and then go down and see what she wants. But if it's flash, 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 I'm gonna flip over the back of my desk and crawl over things and bust through the door like the Incredible Hulk to see what's going on. Now you can use any light fixture you want. And I would probably recommend using an LED bulb. I'm using CFLs because I just had them laying around, but an LED bulb is actually gonna respond quicker, whereas the CFLs take like a little second to warm up and turning them off and on and off and on rapidly is probably gonna blow out the ballast in them or something like that. So I would recommend using an LED bulb or an incandescent bulb for this and make sure that the bulb is bright enough to get your attention when it's placed behind the monitors. You could also place it somewhere else in the room because you're gonna see the flicker. Anytime you have a multi-directional ambient light flickering on and off, it's gonna get your attention. I found this out really quick. And just to let you know, she uses the system pretty regularly. I would say in the last month that we've done it, she's used it for one emergency and a whole bunch of times with just the three clicks just to get my attention to come downstairs and see what's going on. It's actually gotten to the point where some, she doesn't even call the phone anymore because half the time I don't put it on the charger and that's, that's why I don't get her calls. So she just goes immediately to that switch. And since I've installed it, she's absolutely loved it. I didn't plan on doing a video or a jerry-rigged on how to do this, but after posting a picture on Instagram about it, a lot of people seem to think it was a pretty clever idea and I wanted to share the video with everybody because sometimes it's the simplest solution that's the best. And these things are incredibly inexpensive. They're massively handy for being able to control light wirelessly in your house. And they don't require a smartphone. They don't require a smart app like with the Belkin Wemo stuff and things like that. It's as simple as just pushing a button on a remote control. And that's exactly what you want for a situation like this where she's just trying to get my attention. She doesn't want to fumble around with a smartphone. She just wants to grab the key fob, wrap on that button. The faster it's flickering, the more pissed off she probably is or how bad the worse the situation is. And I can get my ass downstairs and fix it. And I think it's actually a brilliant solution. All right, brilliant might be a stretch. It's 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 an, it's a redneck solution. Now I've thought of some alternate things that you could do with this too, because most of these come with three different outlets and each remote can control all three of them. I found this is pretty standard across the range of this product. So if you wanted to, you could plug all three of these into the wall outlet and plug a different colored light on each one of them. Just get some inexpensive lamps or some of those clamp on lamps like you can get at the hardware store for like $1.99 or build one of the light fixtures I did. If you watch that video on how to build that light fixture, honestly, it's like $3 and parts. It's like incredibly cheap to build that thing. And then you can put different colored light bulbs in there. You can put blue and red and green. And then depending on which button she pushes, DEF CON 1, DEF CON 2, or DEF CON 3, you can get a color indicator to kind of, you know, show the urgency. We found that just clicking the button a whole bunch and doing three flashes versus continuous flashing uh, was adequate for emergency versus that. But, you know, it's just some other options that you can think about. If you guys can think about other ways to utilize this, please let me know down in the comments because I'm always looking on expanding on a simple jerry-rigged idea. Now, another thing these are incredibly good for is I put a fan under my desk that actually keeps my feet cool and actually gets a little breeze coming up over my face because I get really, really sweaty because fat guy. So with this, I can actually plug the fan into one of these outlets and I can actually just from the desk using a button, turn the fan on and off, just like I can with the lighting inside of my room. And it's very convenient because climbing under the desk to turn the fan on and off sucks. So those are just a couple of uses, but guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this very, very simple Jerry rigged. If you guys like videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Also, you can come over and follow me on Twitter. I am at Barnacles. And also if you guys would like to see a lot of behind the scenes pictures, including some of me shirtless and, and on the toilet, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But there are a lot of cool technology and behind the scenes based photos there also. Head on over to Instagram. I am at Barnacles on there as well. And you can find all the links to my social networks, including Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook down in the video description. And if you guys want to help out the channel, I have a shirt store and a coupon code for you in the video description to get you a couple bucks off of a cool shirt like this. I like this Windows 10 we're watching. They, they totally are, guys. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Jerry Rigged. And until next time. I am so sweaty. I am so sweaty. I am so sweaty. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.